in video one, we created the design in Adobe Fireworks CS5 and we exported to the FXG format with images. And that's these two parts here that you can see on the desktop. We have the FXG file and the assets folder, which contains some of the bitmaps. So what we need to do now is we need to go into Flash Catalyst and we need to create a new project. And I'm just going to go OK with the default settings. And now we need to import those files. So I'm going to go up to the file menu. I'm going to go import and choose the Adobe FXG file. And then I'm going to navigate to my desktop. I'm going to select the FXG file and just click open. Now when it imports, it's got all the graphics selected for us. So I'm just going to drag them down here a little bit for us to see it. And if you look in the layers panel, you can see that they're all selected. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say choose component and I'm going to say I want to create a vertical scroll bar from these graphics and then it's going to tell me well for the next steps you now need to tell me which parts of these graphics represent which parts of the scroll bar component so we're going to follow the instructions and we're going to hit the edit parts and it's going to go in here now I only created a normal state you can of course do a disabled and an inactive state different set of graphics as well if you wish and there are other videos on uibuzz.com that can show you how to do that but for this one, we only have the normal state. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the bottom arrow and I'm going to go in here and say choose part. And I'm going to put a little checkbox in here and say that's the down button. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to click the top arrow. I'm going to choose part and say that's the up button. I'm going to click the rectangle and I'm going to go choose part. And I'm going to say that that's the thumb. That's the part that we drag around. And then I'm going to select the track bar and I'm going to choose part and say that that's the track. And then I'm just going to click on this untitled project to go back out to the main timeline here. Now for some reason, sometimes they, things look like they're slightly out of a line and I don't know why. If you just zoom in using the zoom key and zoom back out again, um, it seems to correct the display issue. So I, I'm guessing it's just some kind of display rendering issue. And now you can see that these top sections and the bottom section is now aligned with the track bar. So what we need to do now is we're going to switch over to the library here. And if I just reduce some of the windows here so that you can see them, you can see that in the library, it's created these down button one, thumb one, track one, up button one, and vertical scroll bar one. Now these names are important because in the next step, when we take them to Flash Builder, these names actually become the class names. So they're, they're going to be used within the code. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and rename the vertical scroll bar one and I'm just going to call it my scroll bar. So we know what that is there. And now I'm going to go down to this little icon down here, which allows me to export a library package, which is what we want to do. And so I'm just going to move the dialog down here. And so again, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to call this my scroll bar skin. And notice it's got an FXPL, that's a, a flex project library there. So I'm just going to go save. And now we're finished in Flash Catalyst and we're going to switch over to Flash Builder. So here we are back in Flash Builder with our original project of our application that we're creating. And so now we need to go in here and I'm going to say import. And what we need to do is I'm going to go Flash Builder project and hit next. I'm going to browse to my desktop and there's that FXPL file. I'm just going to click on there and say open. Just going to leave everything else as it is and go finish. And here you can see it here. And it's actually, you can see from the different icon that it is actually a flash. It's a, a library, if you like, rather than an actual application. So there's various files in there. And now what we need to do is I'm going to right click on our application project here and bring up the properties. I'm just going to move it down here. And then in the flex build path, I'm going to go add project and I'm going to select that one that we just created there and go OK. And then I'm just going to go OK again. And so now what you can see is if I go and I'm just going to close the folders up here a little bit, you can see there's a reference libraries here and it's got the my scroll bar skin dot swick. And that's what we need to use here for the skins. So I'm just now basically going to select one of these scroll bar components. And if I scroll down here a little bit, you'll see on the skin drop down, 
there's our new one, components.myscrollbar. Remember I called it my scroll bar back in Flash Catalyst. And so I'm just going to click on there. And lo and behold, there you go. There it is, our new skin. I'll do the same on this last one here. And now what I'll do as well, just to prove that it works, I'll actually run and debug the application here. And so I actually have this as an air application. And you can see, there you go, look, I can click and drag and I can click to move up and down. We now have our working scroll bar skins. The layout here is kind of screwed up at the moment. Um, that's just because of the way that I have this project set up. But I wanted to show you that the skins are in fact working and we've achieved our goal.